Hi friends, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Today is Barb's Bookmas Day 2. So welcome back to another video guys. Today I am bringing you my festive readathon TBR and yeah I cannot be any more excited to tell you what I'm going to be reading for this wonderful wonderful readathon that Steph over at Steph Loves has created and there's a bingo board, there's loads of prompts, there's loads of self-care, there's loads, there's loads of sprinting going on that week and all that in between. So yes, it's going to be really, really fun and really festive and I'm going to be daily vlogging. <laughs> Surprise! I'm going to be doing seven days of daily vlogs for the festive readathon. I have some really class Christmas plans planned and also some really cool festive content for those days and some really good Christmas reads. So let's Let's get into the announcement first of all and then what I'm going to be reading. Guys, for anyone that doesn't know what the festive readathon is, I will leave a link to Steph's channel down below and also the announcement video for the readathon. It is going to be running from the 6th until the 13th of December. It's a whole week long, Monday to Sunday. And as I've already mentioned, I'm going to be daily vlogging for that one. I'm very, very excited to participate and take part in the readathon this year. There is a bingo board, which I mentioned as well. I will just show you a graphic here now of what the bingo board looks like and then what I'll do is without further ado let's get into the prompts and what I'm going to be reading. So friends let's go over the prompts for the festive readathon. For anyone that doesn't um, obviously have the bingo board as yet here's a graphic to the bingo board and I'm just going to go over all of the prompts and self cars and tell you what I'm going to be reading. So the first prompt is festive word in the title and I have decided to choose one that I popped on hold in the library in November which I've actually wanted to read the last couple of years but have never been able to get my hands on it. It's quite a popular Christmas book and it is also a popular author that I've never read from before and it is Carol Matthews' Christmas for Beginners and it is a bit of a chunker but it looks like it's a really cool festive theme. Festive word in the title obviously is Christmas. So let's see what this one is about. Um, Christmas is fast approaching at the New Hope Farm. Owner Molly Baker has been convinced to organise an open day to raise some much needed funds ahead of the new year. But their nativity tableau is proving challenging with an antisocial shape, awkward applicas and a seriously sequined Santa Claus to assemble, Molly is feeling overwhelmed and in desperate need of some Christmas spirit. This sounds like a really funny one. Despite the chaos of the farm getting in the way of her event planning, Molly is looking forward to spending the holidays with Shelby and Lucas, hopeful that a happy family Christmas is exactly what they need to draw them all together. But while she's busy making plans on the farm, Shelby it seems has, has ideas of his own. As the nativity draws near, the team are working hard to pull off a spectacular festive fate and make sure the animals and humans remain on their best behaviour. Will this Christmas be merry and bright or is there more than one surprise in store for Hope Farm? So this sounds like it's just a typical Christmas chiclet, romance, fun, funny book and I'm totally hyped for it, I'm here for it and yeah I'll definitely be getting to this one in the TBR. The second prompt then is snow on the cover and I have decided to go for one that I received last year. It was an art copy that I never got to, that I really, really, again, wanted to read. There will be probably a common theme throughout this TBR. I've wanted to read these Christmas books probably for the last couple of years or since they've been released, so I'm not going to keep saying it. But I've decided to go for The Christmas Killer by Alex Pang. And you can see there is quite a bit of snow just on the cover there and also in the snow globe. So this works really, really well for that prompt. This doesn't look like your traditional Christmas chiclet book, which is why I wanted to go for it, just because I love thrillers so much I thought I would try and get something a bit more mm, intense into the TBR. 12 days, 12 murders, so I don't think I'm going to read the back of it, I don't think I need to, but this one is covering the prompt for snow in the cover. The third prompt then is anticipated read and it's actually one that I've chosen that I was gifted last week by one of my lovely friends in my discord book club Hannah and it is the 12 dates of Christmas and look at this cover guys isn't it just stunning. It's been on my wish list for a while actually, um, I think probably from the summer or since it's been released but it's definitely one that I've been anticipating and I think it's going to be a five star prediction as well so I thought this would work really really well for this TBR. 
On the first day of Christmas, a dating off app offered me 12 tailored chances for perfect harmony. <laughs> Kate Turner is happily single, a bit too happily in fact. Since returning to her hometown, the sleepy village of Blacksford, she's been catching up with her oldest friends, Laura and Matt, working on her flourishing career as a fabric designer and taking care of her beloved dad. Love hasn't really had a look in, but Kate does love Christmas. So when Lauren says she signs up to the 12 dates of Christmas, a brand new dating app service, she doesn't need too much persuading. 12 perfect festive dates with the earliest most eligible men who could say no so that really really does sound like really cute and really Christmassy and really romance heavy and what else do we need at Christmas time really then we move on to an act of self-care so that is just obviously a space for self-care that Steph has decided to pop in there which I think is just such a fantastic idea it's just something that everybody needs to do in the festive season and just throughout the year is self-care and looking after themselves so I love that so you'll see that in my daily vlogs I'll let you know what that's going to be then we go on to a free space and the one that I have decided to choose is another real romance heavy checklist that I've wanted to get to for the last few years I've actually had this on my TBR I picked it up in a charity shop and it is Christmas Shopaholic by Sophie Kinsella. This is part of the Shopaholic series. I haven't really read any of the Shopaholic series, but I have been told that you don't need to have read the series to get into this chiclet romance Christmas. Look at how Christmassy it is with the, obviously with the shopping bags and the Christmas tree and everything on it. So I'm really, really looking forward to finally picking this one up. And what better than on a festive readathon TBR? Celebrate Christmas with the ultimate shopaholic, the brilliant laugh out loud festive novel from the number one best selling author. Becky Brandon Nay Bloomwood adores Christmas. It's always the same mum and dad hosting, Carol's playing, mum pretending she made the Christmas pudding and the next door neighbours coming round for sherry in their terrible festive jumpers. And now it's even easier with online bargain shopping sites. If you spend enough, you can get free delivery sorted. But this year looks set to be different. Unable to resist the draw of craft beer and smashed avocado, Becky's parents are moving to ultra trendy Shoreditch and have asked Becky if she'll host Christmas this year. What could possibly go wrong? If I know Becky Bloomwood or Brandon, then we know that everything will pretty much probably go wrong. So I'm really, really hyped for this one and really, really looking forward to it. Next up, we have the prompt, which is red or green on the cover. And I am slightly sort of stretching this one, but it is a new release that it was sent by Frankie over at Little Brown and I wanted to get it onto the TBR just so they could read it. Obviously the only read that you can see there is the author's name, Demi McComber, Jingle All The Way. It's a very, very short one and I just wanted to use this opportunity to read it and review it for Frankie and thank you so much Frankie again at Little Brown for sending this my way for a, a review. Could a holiday rom romance save Everly's Christmas? When the opportunity arises for work obsessed Everly Lancaster to take the whole of December off, she decides it's time to go on the holiday of a lifetime. Little does she know there's more than one surprise in store for her this Christmas. Hoping to escape a snowstorm, Everly prepares for a sunny relaxing cruise until a mix up with her booking lands her somewhere she never expected. At first not even the handsome tour guide, Asher can improve her mood but, but soon the spectacular sights open Everly's eyes to all she's been missing out on. As Christmas approaches and the tour comes to an end, will Everly finally realise there's more to life than work and could Asher be the person to tell, help her see it? So yes, really looking forward to this new release. This author, obviously Debbie McComber, is very, very popular in this genre and writing these types of books. So I'm hoping to have some fun with this one and it is a nice short one just to get onto the TBR as well. We then have just a couple more and then another act of self-care but the next prompt is an illustrated cover and another library book find that I picked up a couple of weeks ago and it is We Met in December by Rosie Curtis which I just absolutely love the cover of this one. It is obviously illustrated here you can see but how beautiful is that? It's so, so Christmassy and so festive. I am really excited to get to this one as well. Bridget Jones meets love actually, the perfect Christmas story. Wow, I love Bridget Jones and I love Love Actually. I actually watched it last night, so you know. It's Christmas after all, you have to watch Love Actually, the holiday. And what's the other one I really love? Mm, Christmas at the Cranks and National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Just saying, if you do any self-care during this festive readathon, read the or watch those four movies. Just do it. 
And then the last prompt for reading, guys, is set in winter. And I've decided to go for another library book. Surprise, surprise. And it is one of my favourite authors who I would chat to on Instagram every now and again. She's very vocal on Twitter. She's really, really nice to everybody that she speaks to. And, you know, I did do a interview with her last year on my channel around Christmas. And it is Heidi Swain. And it is her backlist titled The Christmas Wishlist. And I'm really, really looking forward to reading this one as well. Obviously, I'm looking forward to reading them all, but you know what I'm saying. More Christmas Eve than a week in Lapland. I love to go to Lapland. Upset over losing her job, Hattie agrees to join her boyfriend abroad for a fresh start in the sun. But first, she promises to spend her last Christmas in England with her friend Dolly in the quintessential festive town of Wimbridge. Dolly is de desperate to give Hattie a Christmas to remember, but does she also have another plan up her sleeve? Preparations are in full swing as Hattie arrives in town and keen to reignite Hattie's Christmas spirit, Dolly suggests they create a wish list of all the festivities that they can enjoy together. Reluctant at first to open her heart to the season, as Hattie and Dolly work through the list with the help of charming local Beamish, Beamish is in one of the other books that I've actually read. Hattie finds her frost exterior starting to thaw. As Wimbridge prepares for its most spectacular Christmas yet, with, will Hattie leave snowy England behind her life in a sunnier clime, or will she realise that her heart desires lies much closer to home? So, they all sound absolutely smashing. So romance heavy that I don't know if I'm going to be able to cope because I am thriller by nature. But I am here for this readathon, and I think there is only just one more square, which is a self care square. Watch a festive movie, and I just told you four movies that I think you should watch. And yeah, watch them, it's going to be so good. So, I think really, guys, that is all I need to go over with you. As I say, it's running from the 6th until the 12th of December. Hopefully I didn't say it was the 6th or the 13th earlier on in the last clip, but anyway, I'll fix it. It's running from the 6th to the 12th of December. It is run by the lovely, beautiful, lovely, 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 lovely Steph Loves. And it is just going to be the best time. There's going to be reading sprints and there's going to be lots going on in the book community as well. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. This was Bookmas Day 2, which I'm really excited for. And yeah, I'll just catch up with you in tomorrow's video.